Hi and welcome. My name is Lawrence Baker. I'm an Adobe Certified Expert in Photoshop CC and Photoshop Lightroom. This video is going to be about flagging inside Lightroom. Now I'm using CC 2015, but it'll be relevant right down to at least Lightroom 3, I believe. Flagging means picking or rejecting images, and it should be part of your workflow after you've imported your images. Now I've got my previous import showing 108 images Right, I need to make sure that they're all unflagged, which they are. Now let's go up to the menu. It's photo, set flag. Now you're never going to come to this menu um, for practical reasons because to flag images, you're best off using the keyboard shortcuts. Flagged has got the keyboard shortcut of P. Unflagged, which is the default for every image until you flag it, which is U. I suppose it is a property because if an image is unflagged, it is a property of the image. But by default, every image is unflagged until you flag it. Rejected has got the keyboard shortcut X. Now, toggle flag has got the keyboard shortcut of the accent key. Now, the chances of you using this are very small. But what it will do is toggle between flagged and unflagged, rejected and unflagged. So depending on what its initial state is, it will go back to being unflagged. Yes, you're not going to remember it. Increase flag status, command or control, up arrow. So it'll make it, um, if it's unflagged, it'll make it flagged. If it's rejected, it will make it flagged. Decrease the other way around. I'm not going to cover them in any more detail because you're not going to use them. All you need to remember really is P and X. P for pick, X for reject. Right. Right, I've covered that. Now let's start picking our images. Now there's several ways of doing this or flagging your images. I'm going to show you one way. Now this way is where you pick each image. I'm going to make the thumbnails a bit smaller. I could go up to the menu. I could come down here to the toolbar. If you can't see the toolbar, press T on your keyboard and make the thumbnails a little bit smaller. I would go through and start picking stuff by holding P down uh, on the images I like, pressing P down and picking those images. Um, I'm getting a bit of lag here, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm picking those images. And once I've gone through 108 images, what I would do then is go to Library and Refine Photos. And what that will do, if you press on it, is this will cause the unmarked photos to be made rejected and will unmark the marked photos. Sounds confusing. What it will mean is if you haven't touched it in any way at all, in this process, the unflagged ones will become rejected. The ones you have picked will become unflagged. Well, it makes total sense because you've done your picking. You don't want the ones you've picked to remain the picked ones because they're no longer the picked ones because the other ones are rejected. So let's just press refine and see what happens. So all those images that I didn't pick are now being rejected. Now, the workflow should be then go to photo, delete rejected photos keyboard shortcut, command and control, backspace. You could either delete them from the disk and the catalog or just delete them from the catalog. Personally, I delete them from the, from the disk and the catalog because I don't want to see them again. Now, the reason I don't use this method of flagging is I think you need to pick your lemons first, not the ones you want to pick. It's a bit more difficult that way around, in my opinion. The other method I'm going to use, I've got Control A on this now, Command A, press U, and make sure I've only got one selected down here. And the U obviously made everything unflagged. You've got to be really careful with selection. This is why I have the film strip on, and it's F6 on the keyboard. You can go up and find it in the, in the menu as well. But try and remember F6. F, F6, F7, and F8 are very important. In fact, F6, well, I say hide the film strip. F7 will use the left-hand side panel. F8 will lose the right-hand side panel. And do you need those panels on when you're flagging images? You don't. You just need the flag symbols on in the view menu. Now, let's go back to having them both on. And the quick way of doing that is Shift and Tab key. Now, my preferred method is this. E on the keyboard for loop view. Then I would go up to Photo auto advance now what auto advance does is even if i give this a star rating it will move to the next image so any attribute you give to this image will cause it to move to the next image so giving it one star will make it move to the next image but going p will pick it 
I'm on the next image. X. P. X, X, X. P. So you see what I mean. And then I would go through my images like that because in loop view you're seeing them very clearly. Now, once I finished, I would do the normal route of going to photo, delete rejected photos, uh, which is command and control backspace key. That is the easiest way of working in my opinion. Now the other method, under metadata, enable painting. Now, if you can't see your toolbar, press T on the, on the keyboard. Now I've actually hidden it, so you need to see it again. Now, by enabling painting, I've taken that spray can symbol out into the Wild West. The best method, and if you can't see it, by the way, also, is to come to this right-hand side and press the down arrow key here and make sure Painter is showing. What you need to do is click on it, and you can spray any kind of metadata, but we're talking about flagging today. So pick flag, click rejected, which was my, my preferred method. Then I would go through probably... Um, in a, a larger thumbnail size, I can come down here or press um, the equals key on my keyboard. Well, at least it is on a Mac. So it's increased grid size is the equals key, decreases the minus. I would go through now and literally just spray on images I didn't want. Spray, you can hold down, click once and spray across three images. I don't like this method either. And just to show you quickly up here as well, under edit, once you've done all this, you can select the flag photos and deselect the unflagged photos. You might need to use that. As I say, Lightroom will always give you more bells and whistles than you need sometimes. So I'm going to recap now. I'm going to select all these images by going Command or Control A and pressing U on my keyboard to unflag them. I'm going to put the paint can back or the painter tool back in its holster. Right. Just to recap, I think the best method is press E on your keyboard for loop. Make sure you've got photo, auto advance on, and just go P and X, and it will go through your images. You'll get a bit of lag, especially as I've got an external hard drive here. It's a Thunderbolt drive, but it's still got a bit of lag. It's not as fast as using a hard drive. It'll probably be a lot faster for you if you've got all your photos on your hard drive, but not many people do that now. So that's one way, or my way of working. For the view menu, go Command J, or go to View, and view options and make sure you've got common attributes ticked under loop view under grid view make sure you've got cell icons and flags ticked so under cell icons you've got flags ticked you could go up to as i said view and view options don't forget also under photo delete rejected photos you have the option to delete from the disk and the catalog and remove from the catalog that's it guys i don't want to go on too long i often do thanks very much